Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of that PSG career mode. And as you can see, guys, we're going straight into that Belgium half. You know what I'm saying? That international part of the career mode. And we're changing up our team a bit. We're not going to play Fellini. We're not going to play Hazard due to the fact there are players here at Paris Saint-Germain. And we don't want them to get injured or we don't want them to get too tired for the next um, match for us. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, guys, we're not going to play these games, actually. Um, I'm just going to skip to the score. As you guys can see, we're on Scotland and we win 2-1. All goals in the 90th minute, guys. Darren Fletcher, Lukaku and Morales. I think it was Lukaku who got the first one. And Darren Fletcher equalizing and Morales right at the end. So we win that match 2-1, guys. And let me know in the comment section. Because last time when I done my Manchester United career mode, people were like, don't show the international matches. So I want to know if you guys want me to do that and do you want to see the international matches. But as you can see, Al Sharawi is coming back into the team for Paris Saint-Germain. And yes, guys, I do have a cold if you were wondering. But I did want to get this episode out for you guys. So I'm back and I'm doing this for you guys, man. But I'll bring, bring Fellaini back into the team, I believe. And Hazard and you guys will see that. But one thing I want to get off my chest, guys. One, Just one little thing, you know what I'm saying? Live commentaries is the first thing, actually. Two things, two little things. Live commentary. Um, as you can see, we win 4 3. Our player Balotelli there getting two goals for Italy. Mertens getting four goals, guys. But yeah, um, one, two little things the headset um, for live commentaries. We're just waiting for one little connection and then we can do live commentaries, hopefully. And we're trying to do like a vlog as well in the top right corner when we're trying to do that. But I want to start that when I do my Chelsea career mode. You know what I'm saying? I want to do like a live um, episode for the start of the season and like the um cup finals and stuff like that but as you can see guys pastore is coming back so yeah that's um the big thing i wanted to talk to you guys about and one more thing i know you guys are put in the comment section yep i know what you're saying just to like take the piss out of me a bit because i say you know what i'm saying quite a lot you know what i'm saying oh god i've done it again but yeah guys um yeah basically um the roots of that um a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying sometimes, and they just agree with it. Like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, put that in the comment section. You say something to someone, and they just like, yeah, I I know what you're talking about, and then they go away and they don't know what you're talking about. So I like to say, you know what I'm saying, quite a lot, just to get my message across and make sure that person knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's why I say, I'm, you know what I'm saying, quite a lot. But I'm I'm gonna try not to say it as much. You know what I'm saying? I'm all, I've only said it a few times in this commentary, I believe, and maybe a lot more times explaining it than I've said in the commentary that which is a good thing altogether I would say but yeah we're getting straight into this gameplay guys and as you can see we are winning this match against Andalich 2-0 we, they get a big chance there, but we get on the counter attack. Look, they pull their goalkeeper. We're just going to speed this gameplay up a little bit. And look at this, guys. Menez just paced everyone out, guys. And look at that. Into the back of the net. The goalkeeper couldn't get back in time. And for some reason, the goalkeeper kept up with Menez. You know what I'm saying? He's, oh, God, I said you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, guys, he's the only player that actually kept up with Menez. It was the goalkeeper. But, yeah, we scored that goal, making it 3-0 in the Champions League against Anderlecht or Andalette, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but yeah, we win that match 3-0, Hazard, Balotelli getting themselves goals once again, Menez getting himself on the score sheet, hopefully we can pull off some big, big wins though, because look at that guys, Thiago Silva coming back to Paris Saint-Germain from injury, so he's going to be playing pretty soon, we also want to send out a contract to Verratti, before we go ahead and play the next match. Due to the fact we don't want him to be playing crap. If we were to play him. Because we haven't sent him his contract yet. So we do offer him 20000 on for an extra year on his contract. You know what I'm saying. But we go into that next match against Sosho guys. Ariola, I believe is the goalkeeper that we loaned out to them. A great great goalkeeper actually. He's got 66 overall. A lot of potential. He's only like 20 years old. So I would recommend you guys go ahead and buy Ariola. But if you. Um, that's if you're doing a team that you want potential players with you know what i'm saying if you're bringing up a player um a team actually from like the empower league 2 or something but as you can see guys matweedy gets himself a red card left defensive mid so we do change it up i knew he was getting a red card there so i changed it up i put fellaini back there and then i put balotelli in that cam position i play with just one striker up front just ibrahimovic guys and look at that just confirming the red card from a tweet. He's just, oh, it's upsetting to see something like that happen against you. Never mind you doing it. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, the biggest chance to come for the game, guys. Kamara getting his big chance and Adan making a big, big save. And that 
is why he plays in goal for us, guys. That is why he's the goalkeeper here at Paris Saint-Germain. And he plays like a beast. He plays to his potential. He plays as the man of the match. And we just draw that match. We don't get a win, which is upsetting. But we don't lose either. So we drop two points. We get one point from that game. Matuidi getting the red card, which is probably going to be the whole talk of the game. As you can see, he's going to be in, he's going to be injured. He's going to be bad for one match, guys. So that's going to be a big suspension for us. We're going to have to switch up our players a bit with the rotation. And make sure we don't um, pull in a few players that we want to keep for other games so as you can see guys we're going into that next match against Toulouse FC Toulouse Football Club guys a big big club hopefully we can pull off a big score they've actually got one of the best center mids in my opinion if in this game Sissoko is a great player but they do get off to a great start as you can see Duda gets himself a shot and in the third minute Akpa Akpro gets himself a goal a good name right <laughs> A good name, guys. But as you can see, Akpa Akpa gets himself a goal. Al Sharawi plays it into Ibrahimovic. He's just going to turn off the goalkeeper here, turn off the defender, and bang, getting it into the back of the net, making it 1 1. 41st minute, Ibrahimovic gets himself a goal once again. You know what I'm saying? But Al Sharawi on the ball, making it 2 1 here. Look at that for a cut back, right into the back of the net, 74th minute. And he's never going to miss from that kind of position. We just wanted to play him once again after not playing him for so long in the place of Balotelli and he proved to be a big striker for us he gets himself a goal making the second goal for Paris Saint-Germain we win that match 2-1 Adam playing like a beast once again Al Sharawi and Ibrahimovic so both of, our, both of our strikers guys pulling off the two goals we needed for that game which is a good thing to see you know what I'm saying but um, Thiago Silva playing again for us and look at that guys Matuidi's going to be coming back to the team so hopefully we can pull off some big big scores now that he's coming back into the team we can have a lot more players to rotate and especially with our big big match coming up against Marseille you know what I'm saying a big team Marseille um, they've got I believe Remy they've got quite a few big players actually I can't bother to name them all because they'll be here all day you know what I'm saying we've got, they've got a lot of big players in that team they've got Kashaldi I believe actually they bought from Arsenal um, at the um, summer transfer window or maybe even the January transfer window but we're looking at the um, table here guys we're in fourth we're four points away from St Etienne with a game in hand so hopefully we can decrease that to one point we get it into Pastore 1-0 17th minute Pastore puts it into the back of the net and that's all she wrote guys that's going to be the end of this episode I believe that's the last ma match and the last goal of this episode Pastore getting himself the goal Adan getting himself a clean sheet once again he's playing like a beast since we didn't buy, buy Noya he's actually proven to be a goalkeeper that we want you know what I mean someone who could shot, stop those shots make sure they're not scoring and look at this guys next time stay tuned because it's going to be the ultimate team we're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for the next episode. So we can see if we close in on St. Etienne. Or maybe we'll go top of the table. But make sure you follow us on Twitter guys. Like our Facebook page. The links are in the description below. Click those annotations. Check out the road to success out there on the right. AJ's last video on the left. A like and a comment is always appreciated. As you guys know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see if we can hit that 20 likes. Man. We only got 9 last time. And we used to get like 20 and stuff. So I want to see if we can get 20 again. You know what I'm saying? So let's hit that 20 likes. Man. All importantly hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. It's your boy Sonny, and I'm signing out. Peace out.